Buenas noches a todos. Welcome back to Tom Plays Europa Universalis 4 for absolute beginners. We are back with Spain. And yeah, in a sense, we're still sort of coming off the back of a war on Fulu, Fulo and having gained the personal union over Austria. And of course, the war over here as well. So we're still full out colonizing, although we're slowly running out of colonial nations. We just lost our alliance with Bohemia because they tried to drag us into a war with the Ottomans. So what we really want to do is just calm things down and prepare to attack France. France has been a bit more successful with the spies than we have. Oh, this looks good. Looks like we're not having any issues with the taking over thing. Assimilation, that's good. Not uprisings in fact, fact, but we've taken them down. Three deckers. I think that might be the top. A wall galley type thing. Okay, yeah, we actually have a conquest thing on them. So I'm actually going to declare war. That's no, not ideal. So now we've basically reached the point where we don't even need an army. Just literally declare war, leave the colonial nations to deal with it. They'll be fine. So I don't know if we've got any claims on Muisca. Obviously check that before making peace with them. If we can get any land from them we will. But if not, we do have claims on these and I think we will actually finish a mission. Nope, what have we got? In encomienda system. Native populations. Oh, I see, right. So it's not ideal, but it's sort of an attempt to be friendly at least. We could call Portugal in, but we don't want to, we don't need them. Don't even need me, never mind Portugal. So you see they're making pretty short work of these nations now. And I have a feeling it will actually fulfill a mission for us. So even though we're technically going to war again, pretty minor. Ooh, build a great palace. I would love to build a great palace. We have tons of money and we can use the prestige. Uh, yeah, let's do it in order. Got the money. In fact, we've actually got plus three stability again now, so I'm going to... Oh no, we don't need the plus D prestige. Okay. Let's put a bit into Papal Influence for now. I half inclined to keep our papal influence high just so that we can counteract any loss of stability. Accommodation with the natives, that's nice. Is it ever going to fall? Oh, it's a, it's a fort. Fair enough then. Colony has become self-sustaining. Brilliant. Let's move to Okotsk. Probably going to need a conquistador at some point. See, so yeah, I'm thinking once Greenland's finished, we might start doing colonies on this side as well. We'll just see how many lands we can get in Russia. So it looks like Portugal's taken this, which is good because we can probably take it away from them. Just yet, I'm afraid. Finished improving relations with Poland. Plus, all the time this little war is going on. Good grief. Okay, yeah, better pause. Right, so it looks like we've lost our ruler. All of these are in the wrong order. More or less. Right, so Carlos is ruling now, we've got a new heir, 
We've lost some stability, of course, and we've got some pretender regiments in Sevilla. Okay. Right, well, we can counteract the stability immediately, which is good. We can hopefully finish this. Alright, so they are willing to seed. Okay. Can we concede Colombia? Right. We don't really have quite enough troops to take on the pretenders. Defend Toledo. Ah. Wrong leader. Right, okay, so you head to Toledo, you head to you take the other general and you also head to Toledo. Okay, so right, so we've got all of those lands, so we now want exactly the same thing from them. So these have all gone to New Granada. And we've fulfilled a mission, which is conquer the Inca. Okay, brilliant. So we still need to do the Aztecs and Tarasca. Right, fine. But it's progress. It's definite progress. This area is looking extremely yellow. Oh, imperialism. Yeah, sure, I'll take them down as well. I know it's technically another war, but... Man is foreign and strange. But you have gained a skill 3 Grand Captain. So that's not a bad thing. Cheaper captain. Um, right, I do like to fight a reputation, but I think I want to do purely plus three advisors from now on because we can afford them. We've lost one of our generals. Portugal's declared a war and amazingly has not dragged us into it. Okay, so we haven't lost that general at least. I'll make a conquistador simply because I think we might need one soon. Carry on with the missionary work. They will once again have 100% religious unity one of these days. Okay, brilliant. So basically waiting for the colonial nations to conquer this nation because I think it's the final one we don't own. Unfortunately we seem to have been taken a bit by surprise. But I still find it hard to believe that they're not going to absolutely stomp them as soon as they get themselves together. Not particularly worried. So there's only there are only two provinces in Greenland that you can colonise. So it's kind of nice in a way, because once you do colonise them, you get the whole thing as Spanish Greenland. They remain yours, so you can't, like... Can't colonise this, can we? No, it's a wasteland. Nova Scotia box does it. They have the cheeky scumbags. Never mind. I see, yeah, you technically have to keep defending it yourself. Which does make me wonder if I want to, might want to leave an army there, really. So I might just bring our ships back. And not worry too much. win this. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to walk past. You can join in. 
about the castle. I assume that this castle will defend us from France and I'll launch the attack from this Kaya there. Just whether our armies are big enough. And whether our generals are good enough. Maybe the conquistador was a mistake. Not to worry, anyway. So yeah, I think in South America, apart from the Spanish and British holdings, oh, and this small nation here, we basically have everything else. So, just figured we might as well take this as well while we're at it. Oop, royal marriage offer from Prussia. I am definitely up for that. If we got one with Poland, we do not, not Poland, Portugal, so we really should have, Bohemia of course, we still have one with, anyway, right, fine, fine, I'm going to start building a spy network in France again, hope we don't get caught this time, I'm going to start one in the Ottomans, Oh, here we go. Have these guys conquered in no time. There we go. It's fine. What are you offering us? Annexation? Nope. Well, annexation's what you're giving us, I'm afraid. Seed La Plata, which is effectively annexation for colonies. There we go. All looking nice and yellow now. Okay, separation of powers. I was just thinking it's about time we got an, another national idea. Right, so we are way ahead in military and in administrative tech. So, we do want quality ideas at some point, which is a military idea. I am less certain as to the administrative ideas. I think it's a bit late to want innovative, really. We have actually the religious missionaries. We get more missionaries, we can get more stability. Devoutness, we get more papal influence, okay. Religious tradition, heavy prestige, mission maintenance cost, and Deus Vault. Don't need Deus Vault, apparently that's the bigger one. Deus Vault, I suppose. But, um, yeah, cool. See, normally I'd go for humanist, but it just seems like religious is more in line with Spain. Obviously, administrative ideas can be good as well. Where should go? Administrative, actually. We still are coring things. We're still taking land. It would have been more useful earlier on. But then religious ideas does give us greater prestige. Does fit in well with us. I might do religious ideas. It's not one I do very often. And it does seem quite appropriate for Spain. So, yeah. Stick with that. Portugal, Switzerland, Perm. So in theory, once again, we have an opportunity to get a personal union over Portugal, but I am not going to hold my breath. Okay. So, the... Conquistador that we temporarily have. I'm just thinking maybe I can do a bit of exploring. Oh, 
also we do have quite a lot of conversions still to do so the religious ideas should help us with that as well Colony. Looks like we've definitely got Papua, which we are calling the Spanish Moluccas. So yeah, this is going to be the uh, final main source of colonisation. In fact, we should probably take the last piece of sea land next to stop anyone else from getting the same idea. See how far inland we can get into East Asia. <laughs> We're now less than a hundred years from the end of the game. Yeah, I very much doubt we're going to be conquering the entire world, but you know. We are painting a respectable amount of it yellow though. It's not too bad. Given it well, which is good. Let's speed this up a bit further. Very much easier to go there now. Okay, sorry, where was that? Where was that particular uprising? Tender rebels, that's good. All oh, right, it's here. Fair enough, looks like British Mexico is moving on the Aztecs. That is likely to give us a problem later as well. So, what we really need to do, apart from the fact that we now have too much military power. aren't actually ours though are they? Right, nothing much we can do then, so I'm just going to do the same as usual, stick it into Toledo. It's going to be the most developed province in the entire world. Concerned about the buildings at this stage. Okay, so we have an army of 47,000 there. You can get something better. At least that's a two star general. Alright, I'm going to ditch the conquistador. Arguing the Ottomans and France, and we just never seem to get much power projection. All right, Got some more troops here. Those are light ships. Apparently, they're currently protecting trade in the Caribbean. Could have fooled me. Seems to be just sat there. Right, let us... I might collect those troops then. Seems like a good time to collect. And the troops here you can, so our navy is still in theory our weak point. Not as important for France, but it is going to be important 
later. So let's make some free deckers. See if we can make a decent navy for a change. So these are the um, heavy military ships. Generally the best option if you can't guarantee that you're going to be fighting in inland seas, which we can't. I don't think we're going to be close enough to our naval force limit for it to be worth me getting rid of the old ships. Thinking what I might actually do is just take the navy into battle and hope it's the old ships that get killed first. Reputation reach firm on borders, that gives us prestige and mad throughout the nation, that gives us administrative power. Given we've got quite a bit of prestige already, I'm going to go with admin power. Bohemia are the new emperor. Okay. Well, we can try and make peace with them again. I'll pick these troops up while I'm at it, actually. No, we can have a royal marriage, even if we can't have an alliance. So that's something. Being Habsburgs as well. In fact, we could actually claim the throne now. I think. Yeah. So if we really wanted to, we could actually claim the throne. It does upset people you have a royal marriage with, but it would allow us to gain a personal union over them. So it could be worth it. I mean, who do we actually have a royal marriage with now, apart from Bohemia? I suppose it's Prussia. I'm not keen to upset. In fairness. I'm just keen to deprive France of one of her allies as well. Because I believe Bohemia is an ally of France. And would actually join in. In fact, they're probably France's main ally. Okay, let's try it. So I'm going to join my troops together. And move them over here. Now, well, actually, to be fair, we can probably just declare war soon as we get the option. So yeah, so basically this is the other way to gain a throne because they've got a Regency Council and I think because they've got someone of our dynasty with a weak claim to the throne it might be the weak claim that makes it actually. Or no heir at all, we're allowed to claim throne which gives us a, a new Casus Belli. So you need to make sure you use that Casus Belli. Ah, now this is a problem. France is going to join in. Ooh. Have to admit, I didn't think that one through, did I? So France will actually be the biggest threat if we do that. The question is, will Prussia help us? Prussia will help us. So this won't give us the French colonies that we want, although it might give us some. But it will give us a personal union over Bohemia. Our alternative would be to attack France, but either way we're fighting Bohemia and France. And a personal union over Bohemia is an opportunity we may not get that often. I think we should do it. Uh, have a royal marriage is fine. That's fine. We can abs 
absolutely live with that. And we go straight in here to take the French capital. Right, okay. So how's this going? Who are we up against? We're up against Bohemia, Bremen, Genoa, Lithuania, and the Platinate. Okay, so that's pretty bad. However, we do have Prussia on our side. Prussia are pretty powerful. So, well, I guess we'll see. Might need to go and crush Bremen, actually. Because we should really try to remove any allies they've got. Ports are blockaded. Yes, I imagine they are. Right. Oops. I think I've accidentally absorbed some light ships there. Never mind. Right, I'm going to bring these troops in. We may get attacked. Also, the colony in Greenland may get attacked. Aha! We have won the Siege of Paris. Right, let us... Let's see, what's my best move? I should tell you what, let's try and attack the French army. They are actually not as powerful as I was expecting them to be. Take down Bremen, take down France. Not sure. I mean, we do have a big advantage over this current army. But you are thinking about it. I know we can't do a holy war. Um, okay, prestige it is then. I might go for the French army first because we do have a huge numerical advantage by the look of it. I suppose this is technically our first war with France as well. But yeah, remember the objective of war. I think if we get to like, it's about 80% or something, we should be able to claim Bohemia's throne. And then it will just be a question of. Well, I'd kind of like to get some concessions from France as well, to be fair. Ah, yeah, interesting. They're coming to help. Does that mean they think they've got a chance? They look quite outnumbered to me. No, apparently they do have a chance. That's not good. That's not good at all. They get massively ahead of us militarily or something? Yeah, very unfortunate. Quite upset about that. We really didn't think we had any danger of losing that fight. Okay. Well, plan B. But yeah, absolutely, we will call Portugal in for this one. <sighs> plan B will use this army to take down Bremen instead. also 26. So they're not actually superior to us as such. I'm not sure what went wrong there. Okay, we've got slightly low morale, but then so does the Bremen army. So I'm hoping that we can take them. Apparently they took Paris back without even really trying. Guess the French troops are pretty tough. Yeah, right, well, these troops are brought over. I will maybe take a little land with. Uh, yep, happy to have him in administration. And I'm going to send him. Yeah. 
cause a bit of trouble for France. Blockade them a bit. Okay, let's have a look at the colonies. That should be a good indication of how the eventual war with France will go. Well, it's hopeful at least. Oh, Portugal's joined in, haven't they? So that will help us. Uh, Tierra Austral, don't know if I ever tax them, so I think I might. French Brazil is going down a bit. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, actually Portugal will be a help in the colonies. So, cool, right. Diplomat in France has been discovered. I'll just leave him in there. Okay, how are we doing? We're on zero. Bremen is getting a bit fed up of the war. So we should maybe see if it's possible to make peace. It is not. Still, give them time. Portugal has a strong navy as well. Although, to be fair, <laughs> ours isn't bad. Or at least it's getting to the point of not being bad. We're in the money, that's good. I can always use more money. That's we all. Got war galleys over. How are we doing? Well, I'm take Bremen out of the war, that'll take their armies out of the war, so that's a start. Not very happy about Lithuania sieging Austria there. We could do with sorting the Palatinate out as well. Ooh. side they are entirely made up of three deckers I think so it might not be quite as cut and dried as you'd expect actually it looks like some of the generals there as well so it's not just us I think we're still losing unfortunately as well our best ships still Standing, we are making progress in taking land from France at least. Plus, our army has recovered quite nicely. And of course, it's not like we're actually fighting France per se. So, all we really need is to do well enough that France gets sick of it and are willing to let us just take Bohemia down. Still. Antwerp, we have separatists, that's fine, how are these looking, Arcus Guardia, still looking not too bad, but French Columbia is looking a bit grim, as is French Brazil, that's good, what about in the Australias actually, I haven't thought about that, so they do have land there, and Tierra Austral is in theory in a position to attack them. Is this? Oh, Brunei is occupying. Mm. Fair enough. I guess they were all with Brunei as well. That's good. So I wonder if we should be occupying some of their islands. Ooh, disappointed that Australia isn't already <laughs> occupying some of their islands. But never mind. Never mind. Looks like it's going well. As far as it goes. Okay, so we've now met up at another castle. It's not Paris, but it's definitely a French holding. Come round 
and see if I can help with this. Naval battles do tend to take a while, so you often do have a long time to get into position. There we go. Oh, did we just want to siege? Uh, abandoned the settlement. We did. Wonderful. Right. So in theory, we have a better general than they do. Although after the last time, I've got a bit of anxiety about attacking French armies. But we can but try, I suppose. Yes, they seem to be running away, which is a hopeful sign. I do wonder if we should be going for Genoa, to be honest. To take the Genoan army out of, a con out of consideration. So we're not really after Genoa or Bremen. So if we can eliminate them both. mind taking some land from Bremen, obviously. Okay, here's a potential problem. Yep, there's an even bigger problem. Apparently we just got stomped. Oh, never mind. Can't win them all. Maybe we actually should look at making peace with Bremen. No, we can't have everything, can we? Okay, but uh, Genoa are still in the war, aren't they? So it's worth attacking them. So yeah, we're taking out Bremen. We do need to take out the Palatinate, actually. Is that the Palatinate? That's the Palatinate as well. So thinking about it, might go for them rather than front. Let's take out the smaller allies first. Send the war galleys. Pick up trade ships as well. I think I did. Yeah, that wasn't intentional. So I'll go to the Caribbean, but not just yet. Actually, to be fair, it looks like. Prussia's heading for the Palatinate, so maybe it makes sense. Oh, cool. Right, so yeah, if we take the other sea province so that other people can't start their colonies, gives us a kind of exclusive access. Keep reminding myself that this isn't actually the big war against France as such. This is an attempt to take the uh, to get to Bohemia as a junior partner. start attacking the French. I think I should to be honest. It's taken forever to take Genoa down and there's a big army there. I have a three star general. In theory I have that fort. It looks like I've actually managed to scare him off. Which is hopeful. Okay. The 
can catch up with some of these armies. Fight them on a castle if we can avoid it, but Ooh. who is this? It's more like it. Right, okay, how is the Palatina doing? I think they might make these if we ask them nicely. Wonderful. Right, let's head up here, take another castle if we can. Looks like France has split up all over the place, which is good. It usually means that they're fairly desperate. Siege of Crimea. Oh right, I see. It's people fighting back. Oh boy. Tensions between nobles and clergy. <sighs> right, we don't want to anger his holiness, but then we have regiments. Yeah, I think I'll put up with the loss of the papal state's opinion of us. It might lead to us being excommunicated, but Hopefully not. Hang on, let's really push towards becoming the papal controller. Then we're in even less danger of being excommunicated. Okay, so we're currently doing sieges, aren't we? Oh, right, brilliant. Okay, so that's that colony. So we now have... Oh! Great. We now effectively own Greenland. Okay, who else might be willing to... Ooh, Lithuania. Brilliant. Love to take Lithuania out of the war. They're quite big. Might allow us to crush everyone else. How about Genoa? Would you like peace? No, not yet. So I think we've got the Palatinate. We've got. So apart from all the French nations and Bohemia, there's only Genoa still left in. Okay. Okay, now I did want to, if possible start another Russian, start another colony here. Problem is I'm going to have a job getting an army there to protect it. Where are our ships? Our ships are here. Pick up some of these guys I guess. an attack. Polish pretender rebels. Well, that's a pain. That's a massive pain. That is a huge army of pretender rebels, which we really do need to deal with. I was worried that if pretender rebels win, we might lose them as a junior partner. time to deal with it when we're in the middle of the war. However, at the same time, you know, we've also got to fight the war. So, not necessarily wanting to... It's probably a free 
decker under there as well. I'm just going to try to coalesce this navy when we can. Right, what do we have? Still sieging. Nope, I'm on the siege of Calais. That is a good thing. So I'm going to head over with this army and take down the pretender rebels. Really like it, but it does need doing. Don't want to lose Poland while they're trying to gain Bohemia. I'm just thinking over here. There's a lot of there are a lot of French territories which we might be able to take. Yes. Yes. Okay. Starting with this one. I do want to get an army up to the new colony, but at the same time, I'm conscious that the more land we can take from France, the better a deal we can probably get out of them when we eventually make a peace. Okay, we've taken Cairn. Let's just move across here a little. take down some French armies while we're at it. France does seem to have got pretty desperate. I'm hoping they might be leaning, um, sorry, purchasing mercenaries and all sorts at this stage. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're trying to coalesce all their armies into Paris. So this might be a good opportunity to really take them out. If nothing else, it should leave them pretty close to bankrupt by the end. Just whether we can actually win this, of course, because they are bringing a lot of soldiers in. I do hope it'll make them weaker in the end. Okay, well that's good. Okay, not totally sure what that was. No, you went to Genoa. High time we took them out of the war. What's this uprising? Assume we can't get them to quit already. No, we can't. Forget it, just take the castle. We'll take Paris. Seeing as someone is cleverly going there. somewhere. Alright, I'm just going to head over here again. Fulani separatists. Oh, I see. Right. Oh! Okay. We don't need them then. over in Africa. It's a bit unfortunate because I don't really have time to take it down right now. Okay, what's going on now? Guess my king has randomly died. Got a new heir. Lost a battle somewhere. Oh, 
Apparently the Ottomans took exception to <laughs> my trying to go through their country. <sighs> I wasn't trying to do anything bad, I was just going through. Oh well, fair enough. It's a bit of a pain, but not to worry. Oh, that's France. When did France start conquering? Africa. I did not know they were there. Oh well. Can't be helped, I suppose. Who's this? Genoa, of course. We really need to get Genoa out of the war as soon as we possibly can. Buy at Paris and then get that castle taken. At least we've got an army in Genoa now. So hopefully they will start wanting to quit. become self-sustaining and hang on got another uprising showing us the path to the future We're gonna have another revolt if we do that I'd rather we as a cardinal right okay it's fine ish and defend that colony though. It's probably not enough people, but it'll have to do. That's all I've got. And at the moment. Uh, good. Okay, by Portugal, occupied by Spain. Right, that's fine. So we fine. How's Bohemia looking? Bohemia is getting stomped good. Turn it on our longest wars in history. Okay, let's turn up the clock a bit. Don't know why I bothered. We have so many. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. So many events happening that I don't really need to turn up the clock. Okay, so we just finished colony. Over here. Need to actually discover this area before I can colonise it. So I'm going to temporarily make the conquistador. I see Portugal's catching up. Oh, good. That's alright. Right, I'm going to take you over to Britain now then. too many uprisings now. It's one thing to defeat the French, it's something else entirely to defeat the French uprisings that result from the war. So yeah, I don't know if we can keep this going too much longer. Still, definitely winning, so it does bode well. Next time we'll have Bohemia as well. Come on, Genoan Castle. Yeah, I can afford 
about the loss of prestige. Issue, lost to my divisor, okay I'll have yearly inflation reduction then. Again some technology which is military. But if there's a change in units, oh there isn't. Okay that's good. So we may get the benefits of it. Oh, good good. That's what we like to see. So we'll come over here now and help Austria. I don't think we need any. And also their neighbours had to set off. Any more castles left? Have to say, I cannot see any. So, Genoa. Still not falling, huh? Tara some fish? No thanks. Yeah, I'd really better send someone down to deal with that, hadn't I? As soon as these guys are ready, I will uh, redirect them to Africa. General, That's never good news. Slow things down a little. Yep, we've got separatists all over the place down there. So let's hope the new general's quite good. We actually can't afford a new general. Okay, you're gonna have to put up with a conquistador until we've got the military power. Flashbacks to benevolent. Okay, general, any better? Yes, definitely better. That's good. No, oh, wait, don't want to do that. I want to get rid of the cookie though. Okay, so we've got this alert again call for peace because they feel that the war is basically over. Which, I mean, yeah, I do see your point. Right, so let's take you up there. So yeah, we basically need to end this war sooner rather than later. Is what it amounts to. I'm just gonna head to Reims there. Oh boy, right, oh no. grief. Haven't spotted them. army when they're going to be my army soon. So what I think we will do instead is let's see if we can actually make peace with France. 
So Seed us Navane, it'll seed us a few provinces. So yeah, okay, I'll accept it. And just this once, and I will accept it. Can't help feeling like I probably could have gone more out of them. But nonetheless, we made uh, a little step towards France there. Oh yeah. Sorry, I was forgetting we need to uh, make peace with Bohemia now, don't we? It's all right. What I'm going for is. Yeah, I don't want you to see anything to Prussia. I mean, sorry Prussia, but <laughs> I want you to make a union. So we now need to start, now for one thing, we're going to need to take down those Bohemian Pretender Rebels. So I think we just need military access from Prussia. Uh, we have in fact made peace. So I'm not sure what your problem is there. Yes, Bohemia has a higher liberty desire. So we need to start improving relations with them. So this is a problem with um, forcing a personal union. The way we've done with Bohemia. That's one reason we haven't really done it before. Is they start off with a very low opinion of you. And if our king dies before this opinion is positive, we will lose them again. So we're in no way guaranteed that we've still got them. Our king's 35, so we've hopefully got a good chance of him not dying. But we really need to improve relations as quickly as possible. On the plus side, with every year that passes, a lot of the things that were causing issues will die off. Declared war, used royal marriage, aggressive expansion, was at war, forced into a union. These will, so we should find their opinion of us improves quite quickly. Hopefully. Um, we don't need the prestige, so we'll have the taxes. Converted some heretics, which is good. Let's just keep going with the conversions. All right. Okay, it's a natural siege. That's fair enough. More local recruiting. And hopefully, we can take these people down now. So yeah, so we've now got Bohemia on our side. We've also comprehensively proved that we can defeat France, at least if Prussia's fighting with us. Presumably we now have a truce with France, so that's going to beg the question of whether our next move should be to attack Portugal again. Obviously Portugal we currently have an alliance with. So in some ways Britain might be a better option. The problem with Britain is, yeah, we need to make sure our navy is strong enough for us to actually land troops in the British Isles themselves. because otherwise we might have a job forcing them to concede defeat and actually give us colonies. Okay, still this looks good. We're putting down the remaining rebellions. The fort should take back quite a lot of the land that we've lost. Uh, we should have gained some bits of land from France as part of the peace settlement. Also, oh yeah. Also, France should have 
been quite badly damaged. So things like this uh, French Columbian peasant uprising. I think they were really pulling out all the stops to try and fight us in that war and I think it has damaged them rather badly. So hopefully that will stand us in better stead to take them on next time. So what we're really good at doing is taking down Portugal next. Uh, right, yes, sorry, so these noble rebels of Bohemias. Let's eliminate these. As you're thinking about, so we've probably uh, lost some navy tradition, which is unfortunate. Let's keep moving with these guys, take all this land back, try and get everything nice and peaceful again, if possible. Why do we have a spare colonist? Did our colony get destroyed? No, apparently not. Apparently it's still there, still being <laughs> nominally protected by that small army. Maybe we just finished one. That one's not finished. Uh, this one? Nope. This one. Oh, that one's finished. Right. Okay, so we have a spare colonist and I don't actually know where we're going to send them. I mean, we do still have a couple of African nations, African provinces we need to colonise. So they're a good option, I think. There's also these nations, but we can't do them without taking Kano down. Obviously I'm not averse to doing, let's do this one because then we can move that army in Africa over to protect it. So that'll be fine. We'll colonise those two. Okay. Um, right, apparently we actually lost that fight. I'm not sure how that happened. I wasn't watching. I really didn't think there was any way we could lose. But apparently we did and apparently they wiped out our entire army. Which is fascinating. Really annoying, but fascinating. Alright, fine. Oh, we can now do the top level fortress? Or could we do that anyway? Oh, I think we already had that. Right, that's fine then. So, right. We're going to have to build up some manpower again before we can realistically attack them. I'm just concerned about what might happen with these noble rebels if they succeed. Not sure what they're after. Hmm. Apparently the Bohemians think they can take them down. Of course they may turn out to be wrong. Nope, looks good. Oh well, that's good, if the Bohemians can take them down we don't need to worry. We just need to work on rebuilding our army somehow. Putting down the, all these result, revolts. To be honest, even though we're part, kind of in the middle of something, I think I'd better stop there, because we have gone quite a bit over. But yeah, happy days. We've kind of defeated France for the first time. We gained Bohemia as a junior partner, which in theory makes us very powerful in Europe, especially if we can keep the alliance with Prussia. It's got Austria, Bohemia and Poland all on our side. Might even put us in good stead for attacking the Ottomans, should we decide to do so. However, in a lot of ways, I'm more inclined to look at Portugal again next, but we'll have to see. Obviously, it's going to hit our stability a bit, if we do that, because... Hmm. 
only my ships. Because we're in friendly terms with Portugal at the moment. Plus they did join in our last war eventually. <laughs> they were a bit into it but they did join in. Which makes me a little less inclined to attack them but then we do still have a mission to fulfil. I'm just wondering if it might still be useful against France. Hmm. Either way, I think France is in a much worse position. We're in a much better one. While well, they're being torn apart by peasants. Um, might just boost our stability again. Let's get our stability nice and high. We've got war exhaustion, but that's coming down. We're solidifying our grip on Bohemia. And it looks like we're dealing with our own noble rebels. So we should be sorted very soon so yeah happy days i will leave it there thanks for watching i'll see you next time